this video I'm going to show how you can easily install the Pentaku server software into a Raspberry Pi. It is a simple process that requires the following. A computer with SD card reader and internet access. A Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. The power supply adapter compatible with your Raspberry Pi model. A plastic case. A high speed micro SD card with at least 32 gigabytes of memory. A printer USB cable. And finally, a RJ45 cable to connect from a router to your device. Alternatively, you can also use a 4G dongle with internet access. Once we have all the components, we can assemble the Raspberry Pi with a case. We do not need any tools, and it works with a simple click. Our case also comes with some silicon dots to avoid scratching any surface. Right after, we will unbox the power supply adapter. In our case, it is for a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B that works with USB Type-C. Now that the Raspberry is assembled, let's look at the steps to install the software into it. In this video, we assume that you have already downloaded the software file either from our site or using a link that we shared via email. First of all, unzip the file until you have the IMG file. Depending the operating system you use, either Windows or Mac, you may use a different unzip software. Secondly, open your browser and visit balina.io. At this website, you can download Balina Etcher. It is a free and open source software used for writing image files onto storage media to create live SD cards and USB flash drives. Download the software and install it. Take the new micro SD card or a completely formatted one and connect it to your laptop. Most micro SD cards come with an adapter for your computer. Open Balina Etcher software, select the micro SD card as media and drag the Printoku software file into the window area. Click flash and the process will start. Note that this process can take between 10 and 25 minutes depending on your laptop and micro SD card speed. Once the flashing is done, the software will also start an unmounting process at the end. To ensure the process is successful, make sure you see screen like this where it's indicated that the flash is complete. We've installed the Printoku server software into the micro SD card. Our final step is to activate the license of this software. This is done with three quick steps. First, take the micro SD card and plug it into the Raspberry Pi. Plug the power supply using the compatible adapter and connect the RJ45 cable from your router to our device. Alternatively, you can also use a 4G internet dongle. Second, use your computer to find a Wi-Fi that starts with tech support and some digits. This is the local Wi-Fi from your Raspberry Pi and the digits are the device serial number. Connect to it. The password is 1234567. Eight. In a different tutorial, we show you how to change this password. Make sure your computer is connected to the local Wi-Fi. Third, open a browser and enter printoku.local as a website. If the browser is linked to Google, click opening the site instead of the search. You will access a menu where you can see your serial number is the same as the one previously mentioned in the Wi-Fi name. Click Activate Online. Click Activate Online. Read the terms, copy and paste the license code and activate it. And that's it. Your license is activated. If for any reason your license cannot be activated, 
ensure your Raspberry Pi is getting access to internet. Sometimes you might have a Wi-Fi signal, but there is no internet data on it. Thank you very much for checking this video and visit printoku.com for more tutorials. See you soon.